Happy Friday and welcome to the video. This is Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us and uh, as requested from last week, we're going to take a look at how to, at least how I, build a YouTube channel background. It sounds really easy, just make an image and upload it, but uh, to actually make it fit right and to have some transparency in some places you might want transparency is pretty difficult. So uh, I recently updated my YouTube channel. I do not have my video on so we can do full screen browser and we're going to be looking at Photoshop in a few minutes. But I'll go ahead and show you what my new channel background looks like if you haven't uh, seen it yet. It's only been up for about, I don't know, probably a week, a little less than a week. Here it is. We just did this kind of basic uh, aluminum finish that we're using with Tech Course. It's real nice, brushed. And then we did a, uh, put our logo there. This is version 5.0 as of February 2011. This is what it looks like. We have a basic transparency effect. I am not saying this is an incredible YouTube channel background because it isn't. It's actually really basic, really simple. But uh, we have put in a few images, given tons of effects. This is like the 14th copy I had to upload to get everything to fit right. Um, that's another thing that's important, is making it fit on a screen that's in 1080p, just like this, in a full browser, and then making it fit on a 1280 by 800 laptop screen and not having any of your graphics run off the screen. That's also pretty important. So um, here's what mine looks like. And to make something like this is fairly easy, actually. I'm going to upload a template file that just has no graphics in it, but it has stuff laid out. And uh, the link for that template file is in the the, the uh, description box below the video, or it's mediafire.com slash Ryan Knows Tech. I've only uploaded one file there. It's a PSD. It's probably going to be pretty large by the time I'm done with it. I actually haven't made it yet, but uh, it, it's going to be pretty easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the YouTube channel background that I have right now for my channel as of 222. That's when I did it three days ago. Here's what it looks like. Now, there are a million ways to do this. You can go to Google and type in uh, a um, type in YouTube channel template, and you're going to get thousands of results. But a lot of those, like let's take a look at a, at a, at a YouTube channel right now. We'll go back and look at mine. Um, it's actually they're all different. Every single channel is different, and to find a background that's going to match up right with these different boxes you have, notice. Um, like the, the Micronies box, not everybody's going to have that there. Uh, channel comments, they're not all going to be the same size. Subscri subscribers, subscriptions, friends, everybody has different boxes. So why I have done what I have done is because I'm constantly adding and removing people from this box. When I put somebody in, they're there for about six months. Um, so more of these people, come, you know, they change every once in a while. As administrators are added, they're put in, and as people leave, they're taken out. So channel comments, that changes a lot too, and you know I can add and remove boxes. So that what I've done, as you see in the Photoshop document, is just throw a beam of transparency right down the middle, and whatever I put in there is always going to fit, and I really like that. Uh, you, do you have to do that? No. You can go find a, a template that will go around each and every one of those boxes, but then you have to design your YouTube uh, layout around a different ba around a certain background, which to me is just not practical. Now the resolutions of this image that I have made here, we'll do this in pixels, is 1920 for a width and 2350 as a height. That's a really big image. I believe I did this in 150 dpi. 72 is fine. You do not need to make it 150. Most monitors are not going to benefit from that unless you're going to print it, which for some reason I would use 300 to 350. But uh, for a YouTube channel, use 72. It's going to cut down on your file size. Another thing I should talk about is you can only upload a megabyte to YouTube. I think it says 256 meg. You can actually upload, or 256K, I'm sorry, but you can actually upload one megabyte. So you have to make this graphic less than a megabyte. Mine is 12.9 uh, according to this size, but it actually isn't. So that's the resolution. Um, and then from there, your template is just going to have a black background, and it's going to have this beam of transparency down the middle. You can do whatever you like in Photoshop. You have full permission to edit this in any way you'd like. My name's not on it anywhere anyways. So uh, put in whatever graphics you like. Keep in mind, though, with the width of this document, notice uh, my Tech Inform logo over here on the right-hand side. That is only about, the ruler up top I believe is in inches, that's only about an inch and a quarter um, horizontally. So if you make anything bigger than that on a 1280 by 800 resolution screen, which is very popular, it's not going to fit and it's going to go off the sides and you're not going to be able to read it. So designable space, as far as I'm concerned, I'll drag these little lines out here, is um, not that one, is only about 
two inches on either side according to Photoshop. To get your ruler up in Photoshop, it's Command R. That'll uh, bring forth your ruler. But uh, try to only design stuff in there. Anything else is going to only show up on bigger monitors. So that's what that looks like. Now, if you know how to use Photoshop and you've got Photoshop, you're fine. Bring in whatever logos you want, bring in, you know, make stuff, put text on it, change your background, maybe you want to adjust this middle bar, make it a different color, different transparency, do whatever you like. Uh, if you don't have Photoshop or a program that can edit a .psd, I will upload a PNG as well. That is a portable network graphic. It's like a JPEG. It's just better. It supports transparency. Uh, what the hell? I will upload a JPEG as well. So you can try to edit stuff from there with different editing applications by putting stuff on the side. It won't be as nice, maybe, unless you want to just do a basic design like I have here. But I'll upload a PSD, a PNG, and a JPEG of this template file which is going to be pretty much like this without the logos in the background and the revision date. So that's pretty much it. You know, I don't do a whole lot of special stuff here. Now, saving the document is relatively important. We need to talk about this. So go File, Save As, whatever application you're using, you want to do a File, Save As. I'll just save this, you know, mock-up copy to my desktop. Don't save it as a PNG. YouTube does not know what to do with that or a PSD. Do not save it as a PNG either. Their files are too big. They're too high quality. They're too big for YouTube. What you want to do is save it as a JPEG, which is right here. Not JPEG 2000, just JPEG. Save. Now you get this box. Make the quality as high as you can. Well, noting over here it says 867.7 kilobytes right there. Make this as high as you can without exceeding 1 megabyte. So if I make the quality 11, it's 1.1, so we're going to have to make it 10 which is 867 kilobytes. So then save that and go upload it to your channel. Now from your channel, you can adjust the transparency of all of these boxes here, like the description box, uh, your other channels box, you know, the main information. All of that is adjustable. So uh, you may need to work with that. But that, those are the basics, guys. I really hope that uh, this can help. Again, all of those files, the PSD, the PNG, and the, P and the Photoshop document. Uh, and the PNG, whatever I just said, is on mediafire.com slash ryannosetech. That link is down below. Download whatever one you want, edit it, save it as a JPEG, and uh, make that your new channel background. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you have not already, check out our website. It's techinform.us. We've got a whole bunch of new posts up about the new MacBook Pros. Um, the, the FaceTime app is now in the App Store for 99 cents. I was going to think about making a video about that, but it's just so basic. FaceTime is now available for 99 cents. The beta is over. We've seen it. I did the review on FaceTime. If anybody wants to see any more information about FaceTime, I'll go ahead and make another uh, how-to video about it. Um, leave a comment down below. But that's uh, the Photoshop thing and everything's going on there. So uh, thanks again for watching the video. Subscribe if you like the content. Comment, you know, thumbs up. My personal Twitter for all kinds of stuff is on twitter.com slash uh, James R. Schultz. The business account is twitter.com slash techinformus. And then Tuesday nights, catch me live on uh, ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll talk to you in tomorrow's. Bye-bye.